Hi everyone, so today we've decided to come back into the Disney Park. It's our last day of Disney. Um, so we're in the main Disney Paris Park today. We're probably gonna go over to the studios a little bit later on this evening to just watch, I think we're gonna watch that show again that we really enjoyed and uh, perhaps catch some of the other shows that we've not seen before. So if you do like what you see today, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, it will help the channel out. So first order of today, we're going to look at the parade. There's a parade that comes around every day at 12 o'clock and it's only once a day. Um, and I think it's a new one. Um, so that's what we're going to look at. And I'll record it so you guys can see it too. So it looks like it's getting pretty busy now. Everyone's starting to get organized and get seated. So this is a good place to stand because this is where the um, parade actually goes out or comes in one or the other so you're always going to get a good seat just here right so Sophie's just gone and uh, purchased herself a little cheeky bag do you want to show everyone Soph? it's nothing amazing I just got a bum bag just because I find it easier when you're on the rides with children and just it's just on you then you don't worry about it yeah, yeah. I, um, yeah, that's massive. 35 euros. The size of it. That's alright though. <laughs> 35 euros. Yeah. That looks tragic, Soph. Does it? Yeah. I couldn't try it on because it's all connected. Right. I don't think it's alright. Do you like it, yeah? I don't like it, but I just feel like it. <laughs> you just spent 35 quid on something you don't like. No, it's alright, but it's going to serve a purpose. Yeah. Well, you're going to start working at a carnival, are you, or, or go and do an 80s workout routine? Yeah. Yeah, why not? I've been looking at all the shops, the only one that Alright. Alright then. There we go. Well, it's just to clarify, it's not a new parade. It's fairly new in terms of it's this year, perhaps. Um, but it's the one with the dragon, basically, it's the fire-breathing dragon. It's been here forever, years. Right, so there we go. It's, it's not new at all. I lied. It's a complete lie. Got that one wrong. Complete lie. So what? Right, so that's the parade out of the way. Um, now we're just in the shops looking at ornaments. And there is a sale, 50% off. Every shop that we seem to go in, well, all the shops have got a sale on. All the, um, well, majority of them lounge flights are uh, half price. All the stuff's half price. Yeah, it's half price. Uh, 
you got a shaky thing. Snow globe. That's good, isn't it? Put it back in. sale stuff over there as well. So at the moment, this is uh, what they're doing in the bakery. Let's have a look. I've got some uh, nice looking cakes anyway. So we've got cheesecake, cupcakes, carrot cake. And then what's this one? Oh, ice cream, huh? Yeah, they want the, um, the Elsa one, though, so they don't want a... Oh, OK. This is scooped ice cream. Yeah. I keep, keep um, running these two together. So what would you say to people that were considering getting a Mickey Beignet? I'd say don't waste your money. Don't waste your money, they're crap. Unless you've got a pot and a teller with you. Yeah, unless you've got a... <laughs> they literally have no filling in at all. And they're really dry and, and not very nice. How's your glasses, Jack? You good? I hope this is gonna be fun. Yeah, me too. How you doing, Charlie? Are they good, Charlie? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Yeah, but I think we should have wrong glasses for you. Yeah. I've got some on that. Chers amis, bienvenue à Discovery Lantern. Okay, so we're just about to go into Disney's or Mickey's Philly Magic Show. It's like a cinema with like um, maybe like an IMAX and the, the floor jumps up and down and there's 3D and there's air and there's uh, like stuff that spits out of you and stuff. It's a really good show. Um, but yeah, we'll see you in a bit. Alright, so we've accidentally stumbled upon a sweet shop and a nice little um, like a rest stop area where you can sit and just have your drinks or just chill out or whatever. Um, just here, look. So, literally, you've got the carousel there and the castle just on the left there. And then you just come in here, look. And then there's uh, Cinderella's carriage and stuff like that there. And you can just chill out in that little area there. And then over here, <laughs> I accidentally stumbled upon this little area which is um, a sweet shop and now the boys want something of course yeah. no of course it's not this is the land of make believe so that's what kind of sweets they got so there's the honey that Sophie was just talking about there's all different types of lollies and candy canes. Whoa! Let's go over here. Oh, we got um, Disney shaped pasta. Whatever these are, don't know what they are. You got like pick a mix. They call it bonbon candies. Oh, look, they've got all uh, Rice Krispie cakes and stuff as well. Bonjour. Yeah, got a little, uh, popcorn. I've oh, got pezzes. All the different pez. Crisps. Yes. Okay, where else we got? We got biscuits. What are these little tins of different things? What's their Remy's recipe? 
Uh, I'm guessing they're biscuits. Savour fruit rings. Berry flavoured black tea. Oh, it's tea. Alice in Wonderland. Mm, and just the different types of biscuits. And you get all these, these are like chocolate things and popcorn. This is lovely, isn't it? All these different sweets. Yeah. Okay, so here in the castle of Paris, like I said before, in another video, there's also a Christmas shop. Let's check it out. So what I mean by Christmas shop is, this is decorated like it's gonna be Christmas, right? Like the rest of the park normally is. And they have all these magical little ornaments look, that you can get. Some of them are really quite unique in terms of uh, you can only get them in the parks. So what are these ranging from? These are 15 euros. What are these little ones? 15 euros. That's really cool. So that's Princess Tiani with the little frog there, look. Let's have a little look what else they got. So they got so for, I like the one they've got there, Princess Tiani is like a little girl with the um, frog. <laughs> um, what else? So they've got Little Mermaid, Elsa. They've got Christmas wreaths. Some of them are from last Christmas. You got stockings. Oh, the magic one, yeah. Fantasia, Fantasia one, yeah. How much is that one? 18. 18. Yeah, They're actually quite a good price yeah. in here, like 15, 15, 18. That one's 20. Why is that one 20 then? Because it's glass. Oh, okay. Can you stay in there, please? Yeah, stay in there, please. All right, show mummy and then get back in. Lilo and Stitch stuff. Why is there so much Lilo and Stitch stuff? I really don't get it. Oh, they got a Christmas train to go around your Christmas tree. What's the price on this one then? That is 150 euros for that. Yeah, 150 euros for the train to go around the tree. Yeah, so those are all the bits and pieces you can get in this shop anyway. Hello everyone. So, just to update you, we've come into the Hollywood. Hi everyone, so just to update you, we've come into the studios uh, side of the parks and we're just about to go on the Spider-Man ride. I've never been on it before. You know, it's a bit like Ratatouille mixed in with Spider-Man um, and then you can like shoot webs and stuff. But let's go on it and see what it is. So it says it's a, so it says it's a 35 minute wait. So let's see if there's if there's any truth in that. Never been in that PYM kitchen. Let me know in the comments if any of you have been in there and if it was any good. And is it worth the price? Okay, so here's the queue. What's he doing? Spidey fingers. Go on, show us then. Show us then. Whoa. What about you, mummy? <laughs> right, 
right. I think it's a five hour meal. Okay. Alright, so update. It's a bit more than 30 minutes. So, you come all the way around the building, both sides of it. And then you get in and you think, oh no, this is going to be it. I'm going to get on the ride in a minute. And then, well, it looks like this. So, yeah. It's not five years. 35. 35. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be longer than that. Yeah. What was it? Um, what time did you get in the What do you reckon? Five. Right. So it's going to be nine on an hour before we get on this ride. We're in some sort of, uh, I don't know, loading area for the ride. Kids have been really bored, bless them. Top tip for bringing kids to Disney, don't. <laughs> And our host today has created his own real-time translation device to help you better enjoy the presentation. We hope you all have a great time on your visit to the Worldwide Engineering Brigade Open House. Nous vous souhaitons une excellente visite durant cette journée portes ouvertes de la Web Engineering Brigade. Et voici notre chef de projet, Peter Parker. Comment ça va Je suis Peter Parker. Ici chez Web, on a accès à une super technologie comme le vibranium du Wakanda. No, so this is instructions on what you meant to do. Different shots. <laughs> so, this is your score, Jack. There. That was Daddy's score. That was Charlie's score. That was Mummy's score. It's not bad. Yeah, guess what? You're the winner. Oh, yeah. Right, so that was the Web Slinger. I've never been on it before. Personally, I didn't think that much of it, but the boys enjoyed it. Um, and then straight after, obviously, you get this big shot with all the Spider Man merch in it, the Marvel merch. Um, I think you can come in here regardless. Yeah, you can. You can just come in here and take a look around and get all the stuff you want. Please! This is what I get every day. Please! And now you got um, Thor and Loki hanging around. I mean, I would stay and watch it, but it's in French, so I'm, I'm not interested. <laughs> I do find that with France, although it's a really good park and there's stuff there. Obviously, it's understandable as well. It's their country and it should be in French. Um, but for us, it gets a bit boring if it's not in English, obviously. Right, so now we're trying the Frozen uh, musical. As you can see, everyone's sitting down because there's about, what is it, 45 minutes? Uh, so, except quarter to toe, it's 21 minutes past. Right, so we've got a long way. Hopefully they don't see me. Yeah, hopefully, but yeah. So that's what we're doing. We've never done this before. Never done this one before. So if I can, I'll get you a sneaky little bit of footage. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. We did go in, um, we did go back in the kitchen for 
the Cornet Starks kitchen, went in there, got some pizza, we got a drink for ourselves, a bit of pasta as well. Um, Charlie, myself and Sophie have eaten, and I was eating, but Jack wanted nuggets, they don't do nuggets in there, so we're gonna have to find Jack some nuggets after this. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. And uh, yeah. Never been in here before. It's got like all uh, memorabilia. Well, not memorabilia, but it's set up to be like that, I guess. But you can't eat a lullaby. Sven, buddy, on peut pas toujours penser qu'à manger. Such a classic, right? Reindeers are better than people. What do you think of that then, So, Was it any good? It's not my cup of tea, but some people might really love it. Yeah? Yeah, I didn't think it was there. Uh... Yeah, if you had a little girl, perhaps. I don't know, I think it's because it was all in French as well. Yeah. It's, um, the songs, everything's in French. Yeah, like a couple, like of, couple of words, yeah. Like I said before, it does put you off when you do come and it's in a different language. But, is what it is. But we are in France. Yeah, we are. That's what I said. It's fair enough. You're in France. So that's what it should be, really. Um, but yeah, them notes hit different in French. I just think because it's <laughs> you know what you know with the song, so you sing it how it, it is in the films. Yeah. Um, for them to change it, it's a little bit. Well, you sing it how you sing it. No. <laughs> I don't sing it. <laughs> I don't sing it either. Right. What we're doing now? We're gonna um, take a charge back. And then get Jack some food and then head back to our new hotel. So we're going to a new hotel tonight. So um, yeah, we'll show you that. Right, a quick update. We're now looking in one of the biggest Disney shops you've ever seen. Not the biggest, the biggest is in Orlando, um, but one of the biggest. We're now looking for the new uh, inside out characters because Jack really wants them. So that's what we're hunting for now. I don't even know if they've been released yet. But we're looking. This is actually pretty tricky with this buggy. It's double buggy. Oh, what they've said, have they? Oh, okay. All right, cool. All right. Onwards we go. Now we're going in this one. All right. Star Wars merch. This is another one, really big one. Merch of Star Wars merch here. 
lightsabers. Create your own lightsaber. They're pretty crap, to be honest with you. They're not as good as the ones in Florida. Actually, the ones in Florida are a lot better. And they said, helmet, they said the um, inside out match was here. And it is, it's right there. So, this is what we were looking for. Only all cars, stuff here as well. Anyways, this is what we're looking for. Have they got the one he wants? It's not been released yet. So he's, he's crying, so I'll say to him, like, yeah, let's get that one, yeah. Um, Can you get it on Amazon? Have a look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it could look on a Disney website. Okay. What about a t shirt, Jack? With all the emo emotions on, look. What do you think? That's good. Is that all figurines? I think it's because it's brand new, isn't it? Yeah, but it was number one, wasn't there? Are they all the characters from number one? Yeah. Just not, well, they've got... Well, that's a new character, isn't it? That one? The green one? Yeah. Okay. So they haven't got the, the new character. That's, that's really annoying, but um, Sophie's just asking, so we'll see what they say. But look at this. It's pretty cool. I remember when I was a kid and we used to have a Disney shop local to us and they used to have like TVs and characters and stuff flying around the ceilings. I don't know if anyone remembers that in Disney shops um, and they used to play the films and stuff, but now they just don't have any. They've sold out. So that means we can get it online. It'll just be a few days. Is that all right? Right. Is what it is. Um, see you later. All right, so we're in our new hotel. It's one of the uh, Disney Partner hotels. I'm not sure on the name of it. I'll find out for you. But uh, yeah, this is it. It's a reception. Got loads of games that the kids are playing. What's her room so number? Breakfast is out there in the morning. No bags allowed. Uh, um, excuse me. Am I to take babies to change bags with breakfast? Just I think yes. Okay. Right, okay. Is there a bar or a restaurant or anything? Uh, is there a bar or a restaurant? Or restaurant? Or pizza, Ah. Okay, merci. Okay. Merci. So where, where's our room then? So if is it in here or? And what is this one? The Campanelle? Yeah, and you pay for parking as well. Ville de France, this is where we are. So what was it, 17 euros a night for parking? Yeah, dying. Bit steep, so remember that yeah. if you book. Yeah, I didn't think it was. It, didn't, it just said parking. And how much was it for one night? 160 was uh, it? 180 euros. It's 160 quid? Yeah. Expensive. Right, okay. Jack, Charlie, come on, let's go. Jack, come on. I'll take that case. Right, so we're up in the rooms. This is the corridor. Actually smells a bit like drains, which is lovely. Um, but we're in number 246, or 2046 rather. So we come in here. There's a thermostat. Give that a wiggle. Um, it is a very basic room for what we paid. Um, I, I think we paid quite a lot of money. But there's a bunk beds. 
Yeah, no, that's the map, darling, isn't it? It says your TV on the wall, little TV. There's a oh, mirror. Look, look. Um, there's no kettle. Doesn't look like there's a fridge. There's no USB points. So those are the bad points. What's the bed like? I really want to see. Uh, the bed's you. pretty tough. Like, um, I, let's see looks like there may be air conditioning. Oh, What's in there? Spare pillow. Oh my goodness. It's just What's like on this one? Look, look at what There's I've a safe, oh, which you probably have to pay for. Um, look, but yeah, literally that is our room. Look at so there is a... Um, look at how the bed goes. Yeah, there, there is a bathroom as well. That looks... Uh, I don't know, it's just plain and simple really, isn't it? Um, it's clean, so I can't complain about that. It is quite clean, so. Just a basic shower, which is not dirty, so that's good. So like I say, it's clean. So that's something. Um, but yeah, not, not great room to be fair, is it? No, it's not. But I Thank God it's only for one night. Yeah. Um, and it really smells of like drains when you yeah that's what I said it's really bad yeah but it's doing us a favour rather than having a whole day in the park and then driving home yeah it's stopping us driving home let's have you yeah so oh, I guess like yeah oh there is a cop a car. Yeah, we we'll see him tomorrow. That was your surprise. There's got animals. There's like a petting zoo. Oh. Yeah, we've got petting zoo tomorrow. Is it free or do you have to pay for that as I well? I don't know. <laughs> I assume it was. I, I thought it was free parking. I'm sure I'm booking that. I thought it said free parking, but she was like under impression. It's, that's, yeah. it. that's the rules. Yeah, just check your booking just to see if it did say that. Because if it did, we'll get a refund for that. Because that's uh, not good if it did. Right, so I guess we'll go and check out the um, the bar and all the other amenities. And um, perhaps check out the restaurant as well. But we've got breakfast included in the morning, so that's a bonus. Um, hopefully it's good. But we'll bring you along so you can see anyway. So, right, bye. Right, so that's the reception there. And then you come in here. This is like your bar area. So it's got like all seating options. And we've got a coffee place for in the morning, I guess. Maybe all snacks and stuff. Looks like you can get a pizza, so. Right. 20 quid for a burger. Yeah. Right. They got you over a barrel in here, I suppose, haven't they? Yeah, 15 90. I don't know if that's a pizza, is it? Oh, yeah. Get a pizza then? 16 quid for a pizza. Well, it'll be about 14 quid. It was 14 quid in. Um, Oh, the sandwich anyway, wasn't it? So, yeah, you've got drinks. Like I say, they got you over a barrel once they got you in here. And then they've got a shop at the back up there. And then that's it. Like Sophie said, there's a petting zoo, so we'll probably go to that in the morning. But we'll let you know and we'll take you to breakfast. So we just had breakfast in there. What do you think of that breakfast, Sophie? I, don't, oh, well, I had a, a chocolate, what's it called? Panna cotta. No, what's it Panna called? Panna chocolate. That's the one. <laughs> yeah. No, I just had one of them. Yeah. It was very basic, um, but it did the trick, I suppose. Um, or you, you can see. Uh, nothing Was there really? Well, uh, you can see. I've recorded um, what it was, and obviously you, you will have just seen that. Um, so that's what's on offer. And then they've got this. Which is interesting. Next door. 
It's called a lapin. A lapin. Lapin. Yeah, that's what rabbits are called in French. Chavel. These ponies. I don't, can't see them though. Ah, oh, more lapins. <laughs> what would you feed them? Oh, look, Jack, there's all the different footprints that the animals make. See if you can see which one makes which. Yeah, just up there. Overlooking that. Yeah. Because uh, I wondered what, what this was. Crate. Yeah. Crate. 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 So when we was having our breakfast, the man was opening the gates, oh, the doors, sorry, and then that's what you could see. Oh, oh it's a very big lapin. Nos lapin beleris. Beleris. It says do not feed the animals and there they all are look they're all over there there they are oh do you have to go through somewhere else to walk along uh along no i think she's probably staff maybe is that like a public walkway a byway <laughs> Alright, we'll try and get down there. If not, see you in the car. Right, so we're on our way home. We just stopped at the uh, petrol station slash services. And, and literally, as I was getting a pram out for Noah, there was a, a wasp on the crook of my elbow or my finger, whatever. And it just bit me, stung me. Cheeky bastard. But anyway, the kids are going to go and play on this because uh, they've been sitting in the car for a while. There's not much to play with, but there we go. Now, yeah, boys, how do we get in here then? There we go, just like that. Enjoy. Check see if that slide's hot though. Is it okay? What? Oh, oh, is it circles? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so we're just gonna go in here, quickly get some refreshments and get on the way again, eh? Yeah, I'm just sure. Yawning tired. Travelling. Needs food. Needs food. Alright. So we stopped again in another service. He's quite a nice one, this one. So you got a nice bit of water outside Not there. Working. And um, there's a Not Starbucks working. just over there. The kids are just playing on this thing. Sophie's on the, the hunt, as you can see over there, for some food. <laughs> she's, uh, she's complaining that there's nothing to eat. She can't find nothing. We've stopped at three different ones now. <laughs> she's not having any joy. But uh, yeah, let's hope we get something for her. Jack's been playing the piano. Just over there, bashing the keys. Will someone take control of these kids? Car, oh, terrible, isn't it? <laughs> it's not working. It's, it's not working, is it? No. It's not working. No, oh, no. All right, so we've made it here to the uh, Le Shuttle. Um, we just parked up the car. I'm just going to use the uh, restrooms, and then we're going to get on the train. We managed to get an earlier train. Um, so our original train was 6:45, and we're going to get the quarter past six train. So that's handy. Um, yeah, so nearly there now. There we go, got 
this is handy actually. If you spend over a hundred pound, you can come in here. If you've got all your receipts and stuff, you can get a refund on the tax you've paid or the duty you've paid on your stuff. And if you're not sure, you can always go over here and ask them about your refund. I want the toilet, so. Right, see you in a bit. 